Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Quality Pops. It is getting cooler so I can wear my jean jacket. My name is Rogenio Gervais and today we're going to be creating Frankenstein's monster. Herbie. That's what I'm calling him, Herbie. We're creating two versions of his monster, a super cute version and an extremely scary version. I love the way both came out, so let's get started. Now before we get to the cake making, make sure you hit that like button as well as that notification bell. I post two videos a week, Tuesday and Thursdays. You'll get notified when each video comes out. Now, to create this cake, I'm starting with the scarier version and for this I'm using a 10 by 10 inch square cake. To create the shape, I'm actually just starting with like a very long trapezoid shape, so the top is wider than the bottom. That's what a trapezoid is, right? Yeah, it is. That was kind of like the only guideline that I needed for this cake. And I'm adding some buttercream into the middle. This buttercream looks whiter than usual. I might actually eat this cake. Mm. I try to eat most of my cakes. Oh no, I can't, I can't. It's too much cake. <laughs> it's not even my birthday most days. Uh, I don't know what to do. Now I started by rounding out Frankenstein's head. And the thing that I love about monster cakes is that there's no symmetry. I wanted the left to look very different than the right. So I'm just rounding out the sides at first and then I'm making sure that I, I give a little space for like a bump on the right side of his head. Left spaces for his eyes and for the lower half of his face. Then I gave this baby a crumb coat. Now this had to sit in the fridge for about 30 minutes, probably 45 minutes because I wanted all the butter in the cake to get hard. And so while that was chilling, I was working on the kawaii version of my Frankenstein monster. Same sort of deal, just making sure that the top is wider than the bottom. Because I'm using a six inch round cake, it was kind of already rounded. This doesn't have as much detail, I'm not even going to carve into it. I want it to be as flat as possible so that there's a huge contrast between the detailed carving of the scary version and the very like simple flatness of the cute version of Frankenstein. Herbie, Herbie. So we got a crumb coat going on and then we got our first layer of fondant. Yes. Because there's no carving, I didn't actually have to put this in the fridge to chill because it was just really easy to work with. I didn't worry about it at all. Oh, I don't have this green. It's too dark. It's like a look of the Irish mixed with a little bit of black, maybe like an army green kind of a green. So we started with the basic green and then I'm adding some Frankenstein hair. It kind of just looks like mountains, like black mountains. Actually the sky is black and the mountains are green, right? Yeah. I wanted to add a little bit more detail to this so his scars are like a flesh tone just because I didn't want them to be black. So you can see the stitching which is black. It highlights the stitching a lot better if you do it this way as opposed to having the whole thing black. Then we got two eyes that are just a little too far apart but that's pretty cute. I don't know why that always looks super cute but it does. <laughs> and I'm just gonna add a little bit of light dark to give my eyes a little bit more detail. And then we got two pupils, two black pupils. And on top of that, we're gonna add two catch lights and a smile. Look at that crooked smile. Herbie, you're looking so cute. Yeah, this turned out really well. For something super simple, it, it's really satisfying. Now let's move on to the terrifying Frankenstein version. 
So I really wanted to emphasize the bump on the right side or is that the left side? Who knows? And I also wanted to emphasize the unibrow and his chin as well as his nose. So I'm adding pieces of fondant right before I cover it with a green fondant. What color green is this? Ooh. Okay. It's like a soda pop. All right. Uh, in between like a soda pop and a cricket field. I like cricket field a lot. Now I'm using several reference pictures and I'm just picking out the parts that I like the best. I wanted him to have like very concave cheeks. He hasn't eaten in like four days. This guy's hungry. But I also wanted to make sure that I added as many wrinkles as I could. One thing that I, I made sure of was that I added the same slashes that I added on the kawaii version of my Frankenstein. So there's one kind of cutting his lip and then there's one up top and just a few more to add some detail. Um, and the top of his head separated from the rest of his head so I made sure to get that line in there. Ears are so easy to do when you're making monsters because it looks like trash but it also looks like an ear. With Frankenstein, there was a lot of places where I feel like more wrinkles and less accuracy was better. <laughs> it's so forgiving when you're doing a monster. For the right side of Frankenstein, I decided to give him like, like he was hit in the face, like right above the eye. You know, kind of like Rocky Balboa. And so like the top of his eye was just very inflamed. <laughs> he could hardly see because there was so much fluid just rushing to that area. That bruise is gonna last for a while. But he can still see it out of the left eye, so it's fine. He's, he's doing all right. He'll survive, just walk it off. Now, just like the Kawaii version, I wanted the hair on this Frankenstein to be just as like manic, but more detailed. So I used toothpicks to get all of the details for this hair. Then I started to paint. So I'm using black to go into all of the wrinkles and crevices I created for Frankenstein. And I just wiped it all away. See, It highlights everything so well. Some of the wounds and sores that Frankenstein has are still open. So a little bit of red food coloring to bring that out. And then I'm adding white and yellow food coloring. I want it to look like it's full of pus. <laughs> I don't know why that's funny, but the idea that I thought about that was really funny to me. There's a lot of blood rushing to the other eye and so I wanted it to be like super red like it was about to burst. Initially I was just going to give him like regular people eyes with white and then like a black pupil but I decided that an entirely black eye would look more interesting. So I covered the white, I added two tiny catch lights, and then I started to add some veins to his. It's a protuberance. There's a protuberance. Michael Scott, you say that. After I finished adding veins to this huge pus ball on the top of his head, my terrifying Herbie cake was complete. Frankenstein's monster was complete. Oh, how could you not be proud of this? It looks gruesome. This guy's been through some stuff. How many times did he get punched in the eye? First of all, who punches people in the eye? I love both versions of this cake. I love how far apart the eyes are on the kawaii version. Oh, the contrast is just gorgeous. I'm curious, which version of this Frankenstein monster do you like the best? Do you like the kawaii version or do you like the terrifying pus filled uh, eye closed because he got punched in the eye version of Frankenstein. Herbie, I love you. You look spectacular. And I hope you recover from all of your injuries. 
Um, now I love doing cute and scary versions of characters, so I'm gonna be doing more of this this Halloween and probably into Christmas. <laughs> Cause wouldn't it be cool to see a cute polar bear and then a scary polar bear? I love it, I love it already. Make sure you subscribe, I hope you guys enjoyed this. I love you, I will see you very soon. Peace!